and number one, well, that's easy. Injured quarterbacks on both sides. For BYU, Zach Wilson will remain out for several more weeks with a broken thumb. Meanwhile, Jaron Hall left Tampa, Florida and the USF game late in the fourth quarter with concussion-like symptoms. We'll see if he can play it all tonight. Then there's Boise State freshman quarterback Hank Bachmeyer, who suffered a hip pointer or hip injury last week. Will he start for the Broncos? What do you think, David, for the opponent tonight for BYU? Boise State, Bachmeyer has been Brian Harson's guy. Do you think he's going to go tonight? Well, let me just see if he can come back. Like you mentioned, you saw the, we saw the play where he got injured on that last play right there. It looked like a helmet to the hip. He ended up coming back on the field later in the game and just street clothes and walking up and down the sideline. So I think he might be able to be able to go. But Chase scored the backup. He's 20 of 35 on the year for 295. But check this out, six touchdowns. So that means a third of his completions, almost a third of his completions have been for touchdowns. So this is a guy who's very capable, not a huge drop off if you go with the second stringer. Uh, so we'll see who they uh, rolled out here as quarterback. So let me get this straight. Chase Cord, the backup quarterback at Boise State, has as many touchdown passes as BYU as a team has this season. That's a true statement. Brian, what's easier, playing in this weather or trying to figure out Boise State uh, and doing so with who knows a quarterback for BYU? What was option C? <laughs> <laughs> this weather's rough. It'll be interesting to see what the coaches decide to do, the Boise State coaches. They have two very talented quarterbacks. And, uh, you know, if I was a coach and I'm looking at this weather, it's going to change what I'm doing with my quote-unquote starting quarterback versus if it was not weather like this. Thing two now. Boise State leads this series overall. Seven wins and two losses after a 21-16 win against BYU last season in Boise. Remember this? Zach Wilson. Got into the end zone in the second half. BYU feeling good, but then as time expires, Wilson takes a sack inside the five-yard line. A heartbreaker again on the blue. Yeah, and BYU struggled up there on the blue. The only two wins have come here at home, which two of the last three here at home, BYU's won. And so uh, if there's anything pointing in BYU's favor in this series uh, is the fact that they, BYU tends to do obviously better at home uh, on the road. They've been all close games. But as Brian said, I think the elements throws all the records, everything out the window. The great equalizer. 100%. I, I think BYU has, has an opportunity. If they can come out the game plan, the, the only problem I think with BYU is the fact that they've struggled to stop the run this year. And when you have these type of elements, yeah. all, m both teams are probably going to try to pound the rock as much as possible. So hopefully BYU this week in preparation for this game and knowing the elements are going to be an issue, uh, prepared to stop the run. Now of note, the two times BYU has beaten Boise State, as you noted, both in Provo, Boise State had a young quarterback and a relatively new running back. That happens to be the case tonight. Do you think that matters at all in these conditions? The stars are aligning out there in the heavens. <laughs> <laughs> Thing three focuses in on the matchups of two teams currently moving in very different directions. The Broncos at this point of the college football season have a stronghold on the inside track to another New Year's Six Bowl game. They control their destiny. We hear it all the time. Well, they do as the top-ranked group of five team. At 6-0, they'll try and hand BYU a fourth straight loss overall. On the other side, the Cougars have lost three straight to the Broncos. They've lost three straight games overall. And you got to go all the way back to the second Manga Miracle in 2015 for the last time BYU beat Boise State head-to-head. -head. Yes, all BYU fans know. Cougars are two and four. Probably should have won the last two games. My how much things can change in just three games. Plenty on the line tonight between these two regional rivals. The Cougars, by the way, are trying to avoid a winless October. That was a massive reality check for me when that popped into my uh, timeline, if you will. Yeah, when you looked at the schedule, you thought for sure at least BYU on the road at USF could pick up a big win uh, and then come home, and this would always be a tough game. And now BYU, like you said, they have to win this game in order to avoid that. Listen, Boise State, uh, I think they're still trying to figure out who they are. Yes, they're 6-0. and Yes, they're top 15. But they haven't faced really quality opponents this year. And you hear from Boise State fans and from coaching staff that this is one of their toughest games so far this season, and they've got to come out and prove themselves. But this is a team that's put up 30 points, 30-plus points, in four straight games. They haven't done that since their 2014 Fiesta team. So this is a team that can put up points. They're capable. And on the flip side, BYU, a team that obviously has their struggles. And I think for me, Brian, BYU just doesn't really have an identity right now. If, if you were to say, hey, this BYU team does this very well, or does that very well, I don't think there's really a clear-cut answer. I think one thing that they do is unexpected. Tennessee didn't expect them to go down there and get a W. They did. USC didn't expect them to pull out a W. They did. Didn't expect them to lose to Toledo and South Florida. So tonight, you know, what can we expect? <laughs> expect the unexpected. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it, it would make I, perfect sense for BYU to win this game. Yeah.